One and another, 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 another. Yo, what up, everybody? I am your host, X Time. Welcome to another edition of X Television. Today, we have a fantastic blast from the past match for you ESCA LAN. This is the upper bracket finals. Uh, four team um, tournament is what this was. It took place on April 30th. And um, both teams have won a match. This is double elimination, so the other two teams are battling out in the lower bracket. Uh, this happened a while ago, and uh, this is a fantastic match. The series, the event was covered live. Um, there are some archive videos of that around, but this match was fantastic. Uh, the ending of it got messed up live, and um, yeah, it just deserves another, another look. So uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Blue Soldiers bombing up top. That is Check Six Gaming. Dave AC goes down. Valen is down as well for Check Six Gaming. And EMG is setting up YZ50 over here. Kalkin goes flying past. YZ50 has got him in his sights, though, and lands three nice shots. The lineup for EMG, the red team who is in control of the point. Their uh, heavier class is moving forward. Banny on Demo Man, Tyrone and Mackie on Soldier, Giggly and YZ50 on Scout, and Shade on Medic. <clears throat> As they're moving into the second point here, Check Six trying to post up. They do have the Uber. Hard blue popping it and moving back in with TLR to try to counter here. One of both of the red soldiers actually up top and behind the blue team. The blue team now falling back to medic all alone while both soldiers are up top. Dave AC goes down and EMG very solidly in control of the point here. And um, uh, there must be a scout behind. TLR goes down to a, a sticky from Banny. YZ50 uh, gets that kill on Oob. Must have been the one. Uh, trying to go for the, the capture of the distraction behind. And players on the point already for EMG. Blue players going down. EMG, extremely strong first round. Just runs out there and grabs it. So uh, that gives us time to uh, run down Check Six's lineup. We see Hard Blue on Medic. Dave AC and TLR are their soldiers. Uh, TLR is wearing the white vi Viking helm. Hard Blue, or sorry, Uv and Valen are the scouts. And Kalkin, the team captain, is the demo man. This is from last season. Both teams have actually switched their rosters quite a bit. Um, but that uh, doesn't matter about right now because uh, these are the teams playing. EMG off to the great start on the first round. Dave AC jumping over. Cuts off Shade from the rest of his team. Takes him out. Gets a kill on YZ50 as well. I didn't even see YZ50 in there. Uh, Valen got a kill on Tyrone. Taken out by Banny though. Gailey picking up the kill. EMG very lit. Banny the only one left with four health um, back at the second point. <clears throat> so check six. Going to be pushing forward. Just one player up there is capturing the middle point. And the rest of the team surging forward. Since Shade went down, he does not have the Uber. And just like that could be uh, an extremely quick turnaround for Check Six, uh, picking up a, um, a round and tying the score. They're pushing in hard here. Um, use that Uber fairly early. I guess uh, Hard Blue is just being uh, careful. A um, lot of damage coming out here. TLR gets uh, two kills on Banny and Tyrone. Mackie jumping back in towards the point, saving things quite a bit. Dave AC goes down. Three up for EMG. Uh, looks like Check Six pushing and able to take this and move right in. So uh, this is post produced. We've got some great stuff coming in for you. Uh, this match, the Grand Grand Finals map match, is uh, covered as well. We will be doing further commentary on that. Also, we are planning on having uh, Har Blue and Valen put down uh, some commentary tracks on both of these videos as well. So uh, that'll be really interesting to hear their thoughts on the match uh, since they were playing in it and uh, now a couple months removed. <clears throat> uh, red team uh, under pressure now from the blue scouts. Valen gets a very big kill on the banning. Losing your demo man slow early is tough. And uh, the other Dave AC just shutting down the jump there. But uh, a little, little too far forward without any support from the rest of his team. Um, you know, Valen got that early kill on Banny, but the rest of EMG, you know, without Banny, just kind of rallied around and was able to, to stay safe, stay uh, healthy. EMG pushing hard. This has been really back and forth action on this granary match so far. Uh, from one end to the other, uh, full on offense. Uh, but, you know, things might calm down a little bit now as uh, Hard Blue has the Uber, so does Shade. Both teams just kind of posting up. We'll see where TLR goes with this. TLR is definitely, uh, you know, more of the pocket um, soldier. Uh, Dave AC is well known for his uh, jumping around like a madman, um, and TLR usually takes takes the lead on, you know, taking the Uber, running out there. 
uh, very aggressive pocket soldier. Red team uh, just posting up, might go through Z here. And it looks like the Uber is blocking each other off. Shade trying to reconnect with his player to not uh, lose him, lose the invulnerability. Dave AC coming around on the side here, maybe get, oh, big kill on Mackie. Yeah, there it is, the flank. Gets Shade already, Banny stuck in place. Uh, gets a kill on Oov while he's facing the other way, but backed up right against Dave AC. And Dave AC pushing forward, uh, leading the charge for the rest of his team. YC50, wow. Big kill on uh, Valen there, gets the health pack and ducks away, it disappears just like that. There's the bonk energy drink uh, that is banned in the current season of uh, EFCA. There's just I don't know, for whatever reason. We also just had Granary Week on ESCA, and without the bomb, certainly a little bit different. Wow, ooh, gets uh, taken out with a flurry of buckshot. So does Dave AC, YZ50 going nuts. Uh, this is what YZ50 does. Um, he doesn't currently do it. I can't use present tense, because uh, YZ50 has stepped away from the game for a little bit. I uh, hope that YZ50 comes back sometime, uh, and we, that we see him. Uh, tearing it up again because the guy is a natural talent. Blue uh, has popped their Uber moving in. Shade is a little bit behind on the Uber charge. Um, but, uh, you know, Blue Team has not gotten enough damage down. Shade was was back there, it was away from the scene of the, scene of the Uber. Uh, Mackie taken out as well. So both soldiers. Oh, and then YZ50 gets trapped by uh, Kalkin. So now EMG has the Uber, but in the meantime, they lost three of their players. Um, you know, kind of, kind of risky play there. I think that if those players had stayed up, you know, they might have been able to just push into second. Uh, now they're forced into a defensive posture. Sticky's all around. A couple pipes coming over the top. Excuse me, I got a little early morning coffee burps. <clears throat> um, Shade starting to starting to creep in here with his soldier. Mackie, we see Mackie is on Sniper, just trying to work this new door. It's still relatively new uh, on the side of Brainery. Uh, he's not not there previously and has made a huge addition. Wow, we saw YZ50 in the distance there, just jumping around like mad, taking out Dave AC. Uh, both Ubers have been popped on the left-hand side. Hard Blues is going to fade a little bit later. And, um, yeah, the Hard Blue, yeah, there we go, meets back up with his soldier, uh, retreated in a, a different direction. And wow, uh, another little surf there. Um, his player is very smartly saving the health pack for him. Super important if you're a newer player, you always got to try to save your health pack for your medic because he's going to heal you. You know, if you're missing 10 health and you grab the health pack. And uh, oh, let's see what Mackie's got. Oh, TLR goes down. Great kill by Mackie. A little bit of a graphic bug there. Um, Kalkin blows himself up. Mackie got some of the credit for it. What? I didn't even know you'd get stuck up there. Oh, Dave AC down to the pipe as he's trying to run away with the equalizer. Just hard blue and the two scouts. Mackie looking for the shot here. Can he get it through the through the grates? Oh, there it is. Nice. Mackie busts out the sniper and looks like this point is going to be EMGs. Uh, Mackie, you know, is a soldier, but he's uh, very well known for his off glassing. How much he off glasses? Uh, the last ESCA LAN had a epic, epic. Uh, yawns again. Epic, epic, epic uh, headshot uh, on Granary. Um, he was hiding in the second spawn and then dropped out and shot, uh, I believe, a CB uh, from behind. It was, it was amazing. A little bit of amazing right there. Uh, Mackie is back on Soldier as we come into mid. Let's see how this breaks down. Danny um, staying back a little bit. One of the scouts failing, just beelining uh, for him once again. Very aggressively. The demo man is, you know, the strongest combat class in the game. But uh, if you're face to face with uh, a scout and a shotgun, and it's not where you want to be as a demo man, very tough to defend yourself. Oh, great bomb by Tyrone! Takes out Hard Blue, uh, Oof, and TLR coming in at just the right time uh, with them rockets. So the scout YZ50 is going to capture uh, while the rest of the teams move up. Um, TM Fortress 2 is free to play. That is fantastic, awesome news. Oh no, I guess they're I guess they're hanging back. Uh, maybe waiting for Mackie. Um, anyways, I was just gonna go off, you know, um, competitive 6v6 Team Fortress 2. Uh, you know, we usually played in the 5CP format. Um, payload maps aren't really played. Uh, Gravel Pit though, especially since it's one of the original maps, is definitely played in competitive TF2 and uh, it's pretty crazy. Gravel Pit matches can be really, really exciting. 
Uh, Dave AC getting caught here by Tyrone, who's uh, still getting plenty of heals, so he, he took you know plenty of shots from Dave AC, but he's going to be able to uh, come back in here with his medic. Mackey working down the side here. Uh, good Jurati and YZ50 goes down to a pipe, and I'm surprised. I think Shade and uh, Mackey are, are Shade and Tyrone. Yeah, there they are coming from up top. I was uh, expecting them to, to attack earlier, actually, uh, while the medic was still on the um, right hand side uh, perspective. Um, Tyrone gets the kill on TLR. Kind of stuck back there. Still trying to do work. Takes out Valen. Um, still throwing out the damage. Hardblue gets the charge though. Um, the rest of the EMG team is still kind of back. And that was kind of a that was kind of a weird attack by EMG. Um, you know, I felt like uh, Shade and uh, Tyrone, you know, could have actually jumped on X6 a little bit earlier. And then when they were actually in there and Tyrone doing his doing his thing, uh, they didn't really have much support. Uh, Mackie's still trying to just work this angle, which is uh, a good angle. If anybody actually walks out, uh, he's going to get him. Um, Giggly is up top here, looking to get an ambush on as well. TLR, big jump out, catches Tyrone. Uh, trying to find Shade, though. Oh, and there he is! Right by Z, Giggly with the back cap. Can he get it? Oh, Kalkin finishes him off, trades kills, and uh, EMG goes down. Giggly uh, had a very, very good chance of getting the back cap there. At least uh, Kalkin going down is um, certainly consolation to Giggly. Um, back caps, um, you know, can be very, very effective if, if you're not playing defense uh, at the same time that you're trying to play offense. Uh, you know, that's when you're super vulnerable to back caps. Uh, 5 CP is, you know, a tug of war. Uh, just trying to gain territory to push forward. And once you capture a point, you know, the, cap the point behind you cannot be captured. So EMG, now that they, uh, or sorry, check six, you know, they were able to push out from the last, uh, take the second point, but also EMG was in such a bad position that they were able to take middle as well. Uh, this one soldier just trying to uh, hold off everybody who's not Ubered, forced to go after both scouts. Shade went down as well uh, at the start of that Uber from check six. So EMG is uh, in a tough position here. Now Shade's going to be respawning, but uh, their other classes are still, you know, five seconds uh, out. The control point is being so, uh, second point's going to be able to capture it with ease, and Harblue still has um, an uber advantage. Uh, going to get that uber charge uh, before Shade can, and that uber charge is so important, um, not just in the competitive game, and in, in every aspect of Team Fortress 2, the uber charge, or the Crits Krieg, uh, whatever special ability the medic has. Um, is super important. It's uh, you know basically what the game revolves around. Oh, we see Giggly on sniper now, uh, not Mackie. Uh, maybe you know just happened uh, off of what classes were up at the time. Um, a lot of well, I'm, I'll talk about it later as the blue team comes in here with the Uber. Shit, definitely getting caught out um, pretty easily. And uh, blue, you know, trying to rally around hard blue, make sure that he is safe. Dave AC gets taken out by Tyrone, who's the only one left. And Check Six Gaming ties up 2 2. Now we are going to get a halftime switch here once one of the teams gets three rounds. Um, and that uh, is a color switch. Mackie and Tyrone, both uh, rocking yellow hats. Always nice to see some uh, color coordination, some haberdashery uh, going on. And uh, Lucky Luke, big shout out to Lucky Luke for doing the production on this video. Also, big shout out to uh, IDK Bear and uh, Aaron uh, for being our sand sound man. And uh, uh, Blue Team Scout again, Valen trying to get in here, trying to uh, chase down Banny, but uh, he got fended off by the rest of the team. Shade taking matters into his own hands, gets a big needle kill on Oof, and uh, X6 going down. Um, and it definitely seems like their plan has been, you know, Valen just make a beeline for Banny, you know, find Banny, chase him down and get in his face. And uh, that time, Banny got a little bit more protection. Um, and, you know, the middle fights are always super interesting, the strategies that go on there. Um, you know, Team, team Fortress, um, I guess, you know, Counter-Strike is a game and it's round base. So every single round, you know, you have a strategy that you're gonna put into place. And Team Fortress is a little bit more dynamic than that. The mid fights are where strategies come out, where pre-planned pre strategies come out. Um, you know, it happens at other points, but, um, you know, it's a little bit more free flowing or uh, reactive than that. The shade has gone down. Check six is still on the back foot. Hard blue, very indecisive there. There's a soldier behind him. He saw him. Now moving in for the Uber saw. The scout on the point here, though. Is he going to be able to capture it? Oh no! That was so close. 
Let's watch that again. Lucky Luke providing the replay for us as Tyrone just takes the equalizer back here. Stands back here. Stands back here. And gets a capture. Wow. And uh, that also really came down to Giggly, though, who died right when Tyrone uh, captured the point. So halftime break. We'll be right back. Yeah, yo. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. The colors are changed. And EMG now in the blue has the 3 2 lead. Now, this is the first map of this series, and um, it is a best of three series. And uh, we are just going to show this map, and uh, we're going to skip ahead uh, to the grand finals because those are the two videos that we have ready. Uh, but we might come back and watch another map from this series. Uh, TLR takes down Mackie. Uh, Mackie, that super aggressive jump in there. Shade goes down to Valen, so this time uh, switching his targets. And uh, the Blue Scout's trying to get away. YZ50 just barely tagged uh, by Kalkin. Uh, Banny and Tyrone very low for EMG. And we see Harblue using the Kritzkrieg, which is uh, the other um, medic gun that I kind of alluded to earlier. Kritzkrieg, once he triggers it, his soldier, he's with TLR right now, is going to get critical hit rockets uh, until that charge um, wears off or he switches the charge to somebody else. Um, Chris Krieg uh, can be very, very powerful, especially when the other team does not have Uber. If the other team has Uber, it kind of becomes kind of worthless. What? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wow. Um, uh, TLR shot his rocket, and it hit the pipe, and just uh, sent him all the way down. We see Mackie getting some backstabs uh, while getting a little picture-in-picture -picture there of Banny tearing it up, and uh, now Mackie uh, helping his team push forward. Uh, two solid backstabs there, and that crit screen really did not work out uh, for TLR and Tarblue. Um, definitely, that, that crit's rocket sent him flying um, away from his uh, intended target of Banny. Uh, Mackie is still on Spy, which is pretty interesting. Um, Spy is probably the off class that you see the least um, in competitive Team Fortress 2. Very effective, very strong class in Highlander. Um, but in competitive Team Fortress 2, where the teams are a little bit smaller, it's a little bit harder to do your, your creep uh, as a spy. And uh, hard blue going down, caught up very alone. I'm not really sure what was going on, but blue team is uh, was a little too far forward with their with their combo. Um, you know, just kind of trying to push in the mid, trying to be crazy, and it looks like Check Six was able to get behind them. Uh, take the second point, but um, taken out. Uh, also, you know, all the players uh, taken out. Uh, Lucky Luke checking the forward spawn there for us, but nobody hiding in there. That's a pretty common tactic on this map. Um, just kind of how how it works out. You know, timers sometimes and, and the points. Uh, I think that's Dave AC up top uh, trying to trying to take the scout down. Uh, it takes a while for him to get giggly, and Dave AC down to 27 health. Uh, he's behind the camera right now, picking up a couple health packs. And uh, check six looking to push forward here a little bit. Um, Shade with the Uber advantage um, does not have it yet. Always have to be careful when you don't have it. Because um, even if you're close, uh, players are going to be pushing in trying to take you out. Mackie goes down. It's interesting there. Mackie actually, I think, uh, smacked into Tyrone's rocket as uh, Tyrone was aiming at uh, TLR. Tyrone in the Kabuto while Mackie has the uh, yellow Tyrant's helm. And. Uh, <laughs> The sticky trap, uh, throwing Giggly up into the air. And, you know, simple reasons like that are why the bonk is cool. You just run in there, you know, you kind of stir things up, uh, get things going fresh again. Harblue coming in here with the Uber, with TLR uh, through the Z. Harblue's going to have to get out of here as this Uber fades. And uh, I'm not sure which EMG soldier that is. Must be Tyrone, I believe. Um, and Banny getting pressure here from both soldiers. Dave AC and TLR. TLR goes down to the swipe. That's going to help Shade uh, build his Uber. And then he goes down. So, <laughs> uh, EMG kind of in a tough spot. Looks like Check Six is uh, has the numbers, has the players. Um, you know, trying to come in here. Giggly actually doing mad work. Oh, the Uber's on Giggly. Hard Blue still alive trying to get YZ50 here. He does. Oh, my God. Uh, what, what crazy Uber saw action there. Um, I was so enticed by it. I even miss the text that was flashed on the screen but um wow that was that was pretty good uber saw action in there and uh we are tied 3-3 so this is a first to five battle uh, two more rounds for either team and uh that'll be it that'll be it for this map 
Uh, Banny down low. We'll see if Valen tries to uh, focus him down as well. Um, looks like nobody's found him quite yet. Red Soldier's on top of the container as TLR throws this. Oh, what a shot. That was Tyrone. He threw in the air and finished off. And then TLR jumping over again right by Shade. Uh, does not quite take him out, but what a, a combination of rockets. Shade down to 11 health. Uh, uh, the regeneration working uh, for him now. Scout taking out these stickies, and uh, his team is, is pressuring the second point. Kalkin got a kill on YZ50, but now Giggly getting in here, seeing what he can do, uh, how he can shake it up. And Kalkin is throwing those stickies out, setting his traps. The control point is being contested. Getting ready to go. Both teams have Uber, um, as Shade is starting to uh, poke in here a little bit more. Uh, definitely just getting posted up. There's the Uber. Wow, Shade actually ate that rocket. Um, so uh, a good Uber to protect himself, but you know, maybe could have uh, popped a little bit earlier. Now he's at half health, which is always dangerous. This TLR comes in here. Taken out, though. Um, Dave AC trying to get in the mix as well. So Hardblue is left alone with Kalkin and Uv. Kalkin got a good kill on uh, Giggly there with his sticky traps. Although you could, you know look at it another way. Giggly did a great job of removing those stickies for his team uh, by standing on them and getting blown up. Uh, both teams uh, very close on the Uber charge. Oove has switched over to heavy and is coming out for some defense. This is uh, another situation we see frequently. Uh, the heavy on defense or the engineer on defense. Um, you know, those are kind of very popular off classes. I think the pyro is uh, underutilized on defense when you have a severe Uber disadvantage. Um, you know, if you have a severe uber disadvantage, I mean, just personally, I'd rather see a pyro than, than another scout. Mackie taken out as he tries to, I don't know if he was just trying to poke or if he actually had shade behind him and they were looking to uber through there. Um, yeah, Mackie said that worked. Uh, Mackie, hilarious player. And, uh, blue teams, they're pushing in with this uber. Uh, shade running all the way out here to get giggly and then just walks away from him. Um, you know, and then Gilly just goes down. Uh, maybe he should have stayed back with his soldier. Um, and, uh, you know, Gilly fall back as well. Sometimes you end up misleading your players if you, if you follow them out as medic for a while. They're like, okay, cool, let's do this. And then you turn around and run away, and they've stopped getting heals, and they die really quick. Um, uh, communication is so important in Team Fortress 2. Uh, both teams, you know, are, are talking in their chat channels. Um, and, and communicating basically everything. And communication is also something that just uh, makes a huge difference about how well your team can perform. You know, your capability to uh, communicate smartly, intelligently, and make good calls, not bad calls, um, is really important. And it's something that, you know, um, you, don't, you don't really see. It's not something you can see. Um, if, you're, if the teams, you know, release their comms or they're polite enough to share their comms with the community, um, you know, either live or uh, after the fact, um, it really gives you great insight into, into what's going on. Uh, but I, I believe, you know, even the communication thing, it, it applies even to public servers, you know. Um, if your team's doing really crappy, probably just start talking. Um, start talking. Uh, that makes a really big difference and, you know, helps the new players out, all the free-to-play players. Uh, who just need some guidance, need some love. Uh, we're working on helping to get uh, some guidance out there um, and do some things. Uh, obviously, we've been, you know, I mean, we're always busy at XTV. We're doing a lot of live casts uh, these days. And uh, so we're always kind of setting those up, getting those ready to go, um, as well as, you know, doing some post produce, produce stuff. Uh, I still have a big project that I'm working on. And Lucky Luke has produced these two coverages. Um, so yeah, yeah, uh, we, we're working on some you know intro level content that will be really good, um, you know, covering everything. Um, so it's it's gonna take us a while to get it all out, but um, it's gonna be I think it's gonna be really really awesome once it's it's totally finished. Uh, so definitely you know a bit of a standoff here. Uh, Mackie's just trying to look in uh, and get some snipes. The uh, only thing he's gotten so far was a hit on Uv. Now Valen gets right up in his face. A couple quick shots takes him out. Looks like TLR is going to charge in here with the Uber. Uh, Harbu sp spreading the love a little bit to his, his homeboy Valen. Um, looks like Tyrone is Ubered back here, and um, Harbu in a tough pit situation because they're defending the second point, and he got caught out behind the second point. Uh, TLR who is also with Harbu comes up uh, out from up top. YZ50 two big kills on t uh, 
TLR in Valent. Now the soldier here throws out the sandwich. Uh, goes down anyways though, is not able to hit the sandwich. Kalkin was up, gets another kill on Mackey, um, and a, a kill on YZ50 as well, but uh, not enough there. So EMG is uh, one round away from uh, winning this map. The sandwich um, is also allowed in this matchup, but uh, is currently banned in the current season of ESEA, which um, is, is a very good move in my opinion. Um, the sandwich is not so bad when you stand there and you eat it, but I think the ability to just throw it out there and have a portable health back is pretty ridiculous. Um, Hard Blue is running Crits Creek again, so we'll see if he can get the charge up for the middle fight here. Uh, or, you know, as common on Granary, the middle fight's just so crazy that the charge will come into play uh, afterwards more, more so. TLR still alive up top, but the rest of the Check 6 team has been having some trouble on this battle. Uh, Valen goes down after getting a 2 kill, which is help, helping his team out. TLR still just running around like a madman. Uh, the only one doing work. Oh, it takes out Tyrone and Mackie before it goes down to YZ50. And there is the Crits Creek uh, from Harblow. In the older days of Team Fortress 2, medics used to be able to switch off of their charge gun um, and uh, keep the charge active, um, which uh, led to some pretty interesting tactics with uh, you know uber charges on the points. You could uber charge somebody and be capturing or and not capture the point, and then drop your gun, start capturing the point, and then bring your uber charge right back up. Um, it was pretty interesting, but um, I think yeah, it definitely made the last points. Um, Maybe a little too easy to capture. <clears throat> Valve, of course, has done a ton of tweaks to Team Fortress. They still are doing tweaks to Team Fortress. Uh, the game has evolved so much from where it originally was, and it just continues to evolve. It's really a fantastic game to play, whether you're playing it in a public setting, a casual setting, or in a competitive setting. TLR and Harblue working down low here with the crit screen. Takes out YZ50. See if he can get to Shade before the Uber is ready. 97-98. Oh, no! Wow, what timing from TLR, just barely opening the door and getting Shade uh, when he had that 90-98%. Uh, and Check 6 Gaming ties it up 4-4. Very great uh, crit screen by Harblue and very, very good timing of it. Um, you know, just, just poking out that door just a little bit and firing that crit's rocket and getting Shade. Because, you know, uh, crit's Craig, what it does, you know, versus Uber Charge and what the Uber Charge does and a head-to-head head fight, you know, um, Invincibility does, you know, is a lot better than uh, triple damage. You know, you're not going to take any damage, let alone, you know, triple or zero is nothing. So, uh, you know, Uber versus Crit Creek is, is really great for the Uber, but if you don't have the Uber, you're so vulnerable. And uh, Check 6 is going pretty pretty big here. Hard Blue has gone down, so is Shade, though. Two players left for EMG versus X6 is four players. Oh, air to air soldier action. Dave AC uh, takes a rocket down. Or no, that was a uh, TLR. Uh, was still getting uh, some damage uh, while Mackie was spinning around like a madman. Dave AC came in and cleaned it up. Somebody's got to clean it up. And uh, so Check Six Gaming in a great position. Uh, they don't have their medic with them. Uh, he is healing Oov. Um, and uh, wow, actually, yeah, EMG coming in here with Banny. Uh, able to push back Kalkin and uh, push the red team off the point. Dave AC trying to come in here. And the back and forth nature of this matchup is continuing. It's been such a slant, uh, uh, a banger so far. Uh, the game tied 4-4, um, just a total tug of war. Oh, look at that, oh, that's nifty. Oh, there you are! Wow, Valen, fantastic spot. Let's see if we can get Fanny as well. Um, no, but he sneaks away with 18 health. Uh, gets the credit for the kill on Banny. I guess Oov came in and Banny shot him with the pipe and killed himself. Oh, the bomb, now it's blue team's turn to ambush. Harblue throws out the crit screen because he's got nothing else to do. And uh, TLR gets the kill on YZ50. TLR looks like he's pushing forward as the rest of his team captures the point. TLR trying to get on the point. Could seal the deal with a round capture right here. Great kill on Shade. YZ50 still alive. Scout on the point, but no. Kalkin, or Banning coming in here with a three kill. <coughs> Valent TLR and uh, Dave AC. Check six so close to just winning it and uh, uh, putting a stop to this map one. Now this uh, this entire tournament was played on LAN, local area network. Uh, support your local LAN. Um, if you don't know about a local LAN, you might be surprised to find out about one. Um, you know, my, uh, myself, personally, I did not know about pdxlan.net. Uh, 
I live in Portland, Oregon. Um, oh, Valen going for the spy cap. Mackie is on spy as well, which is pretty hilarious. Um, you know, decent effort from Valen when it's so close and to put the map away. Um, Mackie comes in and out with a nice backstab. Uh, but real quickly again, Portland um, area land, I did not know about. I've been living in Portland for years and I found out about this 500 person land. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to it soon and I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah, check out your local land, support your local land. Um, you know, Team Fortress would be great to have more lands and more important land tournaments and more players getting together and hanging out at the lands. Um, you know, the land that I go to, Portland land, there's not a lot of competitions, tournaments there. There's just a lot of players hanging out and playing video games, and there are a lot of Team Fortress players. Uh, I'll see if I can get some interviews with some people and talk to some people um, and uh, put that up for you guys. Uh, just get to know them, you know. Uh, Mackie getting a kill on Oov, who is still uh, heavy. Hard Blue trying to work in from the side here with two of his players, TLR and uh, TR, sorry, TLR and Kalkin. Kalkin went down. Hard Blue gets caught by uh, Banny, a sticky trap. Uh, TLR must have gone upstairs. We'll see if he comes down the drop down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I think it was Dave AC was already ahead. 4-4, four, four, still the score. And uh, EMG, you know, has been able to recover a little bit with this Uber charge they have. They do have the upper hand, um, you know, 60, or well, 70% to 10%. Um, it's a, a very big advantage. TLR finally taken out, so he must have still been creeping around back there. Sticky's coming out from both demo men. One soldier's jumping up top, trying to help clear those uh, traps out. Maybe. And uh, Kalkin uh, blows up his stickies, now laying more and trying to get aggressive on Vanny. And Vanny down to, well, uh, 100 health now as he picks up the little pack. Uh, Dave AC is shooting that racket pal. Wow. <laughs> Fast everybody and gets Mackie. And then uh, uh, that's kind of a scary proposition for Shade there. As a. Uh, just face to face with Dave AC. <laughs> Tyrone uh, working up top here. Trying to just. Stick. Ooh. Oh, excuse me, that was a bad burp. <clears throat> Got a little acid in that one. Uh, so, Hard Blue is uh, posted up with the Uber in the garage, moving out here with TLR. Uh, strong jump forward here. Tyrone just picked up the ro uh, the health pack, so it takes four rockets to kill him. But TLR is like, yeah, I, I got four rockets, so there you go, bro. You can have all of them. Uh, Mackie jumping over the top does not pick up that health back, which you know, he wasn't over, under that much pressure. He probably could have grabbed it. Uh, now he, he does. Oh, weird air situation there as uh, the players collide with each other and, and Mackie falling awkwardly. Taken out. Uh, Shade has the uber charge with Banny uh, and YZ50 and Tyrone. So Giggly is coming up as well. Um, Ty uh, EMG only down the one player. Uh, attempt by David C. A successful attempt to get. Uh, Shade to pop that Uber. Hard Blue does not have his Uber charge. Um, and it looks like these stickies are gonna uh, force EMG to just at least hang out a little bit. Hard Blue's probably fallen back a bit as um, EMG tries to move out here a little bit. Lucky Luke getting s spooked by that scatter gun. Yeah, Tyrone not uh, looking the other way. Um, uh, enemies on his other side as well. Hit, hit him with the shot. YZ50 caught out, and uh, Hardly with this Uber charge, they've stopped the, the capture of the middle point. Uh, what point to control is re really important, um, you know, with where you spawn and when you spawn. Wow, great kill there by Dave AC. I like that falling upward rocket um, a little harder than it might seem. So, check six, pushing back forward here. Uh, should be able to take the second point with uh, ease here. Valen, good use of the bonk, getting up in the face of the combo, able to distract him. The Uber popped. Um, Shade kind of tossed up in the air. Uh, one of those scouts must have been Valen because he had that bonk. Is back at the spawn area, uh, taken out by YZ50 though. And uh, EMG going to try to get back in here. Or sorry, X6 get back in here and uh, capture the second point. Um, now it looks like the demo man uh, and the rest of EMG on um, second point, able to get it back under control. Mackie got an equalizer kill on Kalkin in the meantime. <coughs> Mackie waiting for mare shots. Oh, no, you just wait, Mackie. Just wait. Alert. Our control point is being captured. So EMG is going to be able to push out here and retake the middle, which uh, um, you know having control of the middle gives you kind of a positional upper hand um, and makes you feel a whole lot more comfortable. Oh, great rocket there by TLR, uh, looking towards the top of the containers. Dave AC finishes off uh, Mackie. 
And so Check Six uh, actually holds on to the middle point. Um, they have the Uber Charge. Oh, looks like it was popped by Hard Blue. Hard Blue's like, come on, man, let's go. Um, you know, was trying to save TLR that shot uh, from Banny. Banny goes down to Oob. Oob and Hard Blue getting revenge. Shade still has his Uber. TLR, oh, trying to get that health back. Uh, Hard Blue better run for it. Calcum gets a kill on Hard Blue as uh, Shade invulnerable, uh, but alone. Trying to find find his players. And, uh, you know, definitely, I don't know, definitely a bit of a miscommunication there. Tyrone was already bombing. Uh, you know, but Shade, um, you know, should have been falling back or meeting up with somebody else. Tyrone was already out there super aggressive. And now EMG has lost the second point and very much on their back foot. Uh uh. YZ50 using that bonk just to ensure he can get back to the resupply um, cabinet safely. And uh, check six coming in here strong. Gonna try to put this away. Shade does not have the Uber down to 66 health, 24 health. Very low health. Banny and Mackie going down. Shade down as well. Tyrone is uh, one of the last few standing. Giggly with the heavy. Oh, and YZ50, the only one up. Is he going to be able to stop this? TLR, very low health. Hard blue, though, and TLR get the kill. That is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. 5 4 for Check 6 Gaming. So, this was map one of the upper bracket finals. We are going to see the um, uh, grand finals. Uh, coming up soon, produced by Lucky Luke as well. Thanks for tuning in. We will have a commentary video uh, by Hardblue and Valen as well. Uh, on this match, uh, you should check that out because I'm sure they're going to give a lot of interesting insights and also going to get those cats to do a commentary video on the next match as well. So stay tuned for more X-Television action and check out our live stream on Justin TV uh, slash XTV Esports. Thanks for watching. Peace.